Good morning children. Today we will learn about our earth. Our earth is a very special planet. It is the only planet known to have life. The earth has air, water and soil. These are needed by the plants and animals that live on the earth. These are not formed together in other planets of the solar system. Now, let us understand what is the solar system. The sun is a star. The sun and the heavenly bodies that move around it form the solar system. These heavenly bodies include eight planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Asteroids, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Moons, asteroids, meteoroids and comets are also part of the solar system. The sun holds all of them together and gives them heat and light. Do you know kids, how did the solar system form? Let me tell you. The solar system was very different millions of years ago. It was a very hot place that had only gas and dust. Over time, it cooled. Rocks and ice were formed. The rocks joined to make rocky planets like the earth while the ice formed the icy planets like Neptune. You know about the planets and their moons but what are asteroids? Do you know? Think. Asteroids are large rocky objects found between the planets Mars and Jupiter. <coughs> They are much smaller than planets. Meteoroid. It is a small rocky object in space. You know that meteoroids are smaller than the asteroids. When a meteoroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, it burns and appears as a streak of light. We then call it a meteor or shooting star. Meteors are quite common and you may see one at night. Less common are comets. Do you know? What is a comet? Comet is a small icy object that takes many years to go around the sun. When it comes near the sun, it glows and gets a long bright tail. Do you know children, why is there life on the earth and not on the other planets of the solar system? Let me tell you. In the beginning, the earth was very hot. Slowly, it cooled down and a layer of air formed around it. Clouds in the air brought rain which formed oceans and lakes. Now the earth had air, water and soil. It received sunlight which plants need to make food. Gradually, living beings appeared and developed to what they are today. Let us revise one more time. There is life on the earth because it has air which plants and animals need. It has water in the liquid form. It is at the right distance from the sun which makes it neither too hot nor too cold. Had it been as close to the sun as mercury, it would have been very hot. So hot that its water 
would have turned into steam. Had it been as far away as Neptune, its water would have frozen to ice. The earth is surrounded by a layer of air called the atmosphere. Air is a mixture of gases. As you can see, air is a mixture of gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide and water vapor. Let us learn the uses of different gases. First one is oxygen. It is needed by plants and animals to breathe. Second, carbon dioxide. It is used by plants to make food. Water vapor is needed for rain clouds to form. <coughs> the atmosphere makes the earth livable in many other ways. It acts as a blanket and a shield. Children, you must be wondering how does the atmosphere act as a blanket and a shield? Let us learn. It acts as a blanket that traps heat. This does not let the earth become too cold at night. It acts as a shield too. For example, it makes most meteoroids burn up before they hit the crown. Water. Water is found on the earth in all forms, solid, liquid and gas. As a solid, it is found as near the poles. Poles means North Pole and the South Pole. As a gas, it is found as water vapor in air. It is found in the liquid form in rivers, lakes and oceans and under the ground. You know children, water is very important for our life. All living beings are made up of cells which have water. More than half our body weight is due to water. Our body needs it to work properly. We also need water for drinking, cooking, washing, growing crops and so on. Plants need it to make food. Now, let us learn about soil. The land on the earth has a thin layer of soil at top. Most plants grow on soil. Soil has finely broken rocks. The remains of dead plants and animals, air, water and many small organisms. The dead plants and animals and many of the organisms in the soil make it fertile, means good for growing plants. There are pockets, means empty spaces in the soil that hold air and water. Look at this diagram. Plant roots get air and water from these, soil is important for us because most of our food is grown on soil. I hope you must have understood this chapter. Thank you.